The difference of squares is a rule that says if I have any two numbers or variables and I put them in this format where I have a minus b, then I multiply that by a plus b. After I distribute and combine like terms, I will always get a squared minus b squared. The most common usage of this in algebra is to start with this end and factor back into these two binomials. Here are three of the most common types you're likely to see. First here on the left, x squared minus 9. So here, x squared, is that a square? Yes, it is. I can take the square root and it becomes x. 9, is that a square? Yes, it is. I can take the square root and that's 3. Last but certainly not least, is it a minus in between them? If it is a plus, ugh, you cannot do this. It has to be minus. It is a minus, so it works. It becomes x minus 3, x plus 3 as the factoring. Second one in the middle, just because there is a number in front of it, do not dismiss it out of hand. If that number is a perfect square, you can still do this. 4 is a perfect square. Square root is 2. x squared, perfect square. Square root is x. 25 is a perfect square. Square root is 5. Big thing in the middle, is that a minus? Yes, it is. So I can do this as 2x minus 5, 2x plus 5. Boom, factored. Last but certainly not least, going to scoot this over. If you come across something where the number in front is not a perfect square, do not immediately dismiss it out of hand. Look instead to see if it is a factor that you can pull out of this whole set of terms. In this case, 3 is 48 divisible by 3. Yes, it is. So let's pull that 3 out. When we do, we get 3 times x squared minus 16. There, now we have that perfect square and it becomes 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 4. If you would like a more in-depth explanation for why and how this works, as well as some full examples, please click on the long form video linked in the description below. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye!